HIV AIDS is one of the most pressing public health problems we face in the modern world. Nearly 40 million people in the world today are living with HIV AIDS. Over a million will die each year. Most of these infections and deaths take place in Sub-Saharan Africa. Is this because HIV is especially contagious? Well, not exactly. It's not easy to contract HIV. The virus needs to get into your bloodstream somehow from someone else's bodily fluids. Typical routes for adults are sexual intercourse and the use of infected needles. But even a baby can contract HIV if born to an infected mother. Now, recent studies have shown a new danger, a danger Americans may have been inadvertently funding for over 30 years. Injectable contraceptives like Depo-Provera. Depo-Provera, commonly referred to as Depo, works by making a woman infertile for at least three months, mostly by preventing ovulation. No egg, no baby. The drugs needed to do this are powerful, causing countless serious side effects like fragile bones, depression, and even a weakened immune system. Now women can add another. Increased risk of HIV. New studies published in the world's top medical journals show that women who take Depo-Provera are as much as 50% more likely to catch HIV. Why? We already know that one of Depo's side effects is that it weakens a woman's ability to fight off disease. But it also thins the tissue in her sexual organs. This makes that tissue far easier to breach, allowing the HIV virus to enter her blood. Once there, it's harder for her Depo-weakened immune system to fight off the infection. The United States government knows Depo is dangerous. It warns American women not to take more than eight doses in a row. But then it turns around and orders massive amounts of the drug and sends them to the very countries gripped by an HIV epidemic. Millions upon millions of doses of Depo to African women every year. The United States government thinks that this powerful drug is unsafe for long-term use by its own women. How can it be good enough for African women? More than two-thirds of Depo-like drugs are shipped to Africa, where many women will just be handed the drug to inject themselves. Some of these women will be exposed to HIV, and many of them will then die of AIDS. So why has the World Health Organization recommended that Depo be given even to women in danger of contracting HIV? Many groups around the world have criticized this noting that this directly contradicts the WHO's own guidance regarding a woman's right to information necessary for informed consent. Everyone knows that AIDS is the leading cause of death in Africa, but not everyone knows the deadly link between Depo and HIV infection, or that the majority of the drug provided by aid organizations is being shipped to the very countries hardest hit by the AIDS epidemic. Shouldn't someone tell African women the truth?